first meeting of the day. Good morning! Welcome to Our Fives Live Sensible Commons. In the previous episode, we were informed about the five functions of language. Because it's February, the whole month is spent in sharing with you the five love languages of Dr. Yarita. Our speaker for today is indeed an example in terms of showing her love for her loved ones through words of affirmation. Friends, let us now listen to Ma'am Mildred. Alfred Lord Tennyson, a famous British poet, once said, and I quote, It is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Indeed, loving is one of the most beautiful things that could ever happen to anyone. When people love, they are even more than willing to give everything that they can or probably even beyond what they can. Words of affirmation is one of the five love languages. Words of affirmation are spoken or written words used to confirm, to support, to uplift, or to empathize with another person in a very positive manner. Saying, I love you, I care for you, I am so proud of you, thank you for the food that you've cooked for me, Thank you for what you've been doing for me. These are just few of the many words of affirmation that we can express just so we can tell to people who are near to our heart that indeed they are loved. Indeed, they are special. In other words, let us not content ourselves in knowing that we love our loved ones. Let us not also be contented in knowing that our loved ones know that we love them. Because if their love language is words of affirmation, that means they are always waiting for us to verbalize that one consistently at that, whether in oral or in written form. But the question is, how do we do or how do we speak this love language? Number one, be authentic at all times. Mean what you say and say what you mean. Never ever say anything that is not from the heart. Our family members or loved ones would know that, whether we are sincere or not. The more that they would get hurt when we say things that we do not mean. Number two, be empathetic. That means more than trying to understand the situation of our loved ones is to place ourselves in shoes is to place ourselves in their places through this one we would be able to appreciate them even better number three show appreciation at all times if only we focus on what is positive if we focus on what is good then every day we will never run out of good things to say about people around us especially our loved one number four is say i love you a lot we all love to and to receive this very beautiful statement. More so when it is our love language. So when we know that the love language of our loved ones is words of affirmation, then let us not forget each day to say how much we love them. Number five is send them a message. Nowadays, it's very easy to send a message to our loved ones because we have the messenger, we have the email, unlike before that it was only snake mail. So once given the chance, of course, every day we have the chance that to send a message how much we care for them and how much they are dear to our hearts. And finally, dial it up. Let us not only use our phones in calling our loved ones because there is an errand that we would like them to fulfill. Please, let us also use our phones in calling them up just so we can say how much we love them. God loves us and that He cares for us, right? We know that. But we do not settle ourselves by simply knowing that because we want God to also affirm that love to us. In fact, in the Bible, there are 150 verses to affirm God's love for us. And one of which is spoken in Jeremiah 29:11, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God loves for us is not only in words. He even affirmed this one. He even manifested this one through his perfect plan for us. So it's like God is telling us that he will be with us in every day of our lives just so he can see how his best promises and plans are fulfilled 
in our lives. How about you? How do you affirm to God that you love Him back? What are the words that you usually tell your loved ones about? What are the words that you usually use to people around you? Let us not withhold any word that could strengthen our love and bond with others. Because if it is their love language, if words of affirmation is their love language, you will see how your relationship can change tremendously. Our dear subscribers, we really appreciate you. That's basically the reason why every time we shoot, why every time we think about topics and messages that we would like to share with you, we make it a point that we give our best. That is the love language that we would like to share with you. That you are appreciated. You are definitely important to us. We are all blessed. And let us all stay in that. Siyempre, kasi yung iba naman ang hindi matutuwa kapag nakaka-receive niyang words of affirmation coming from our people. But aside from that, I feel also appreciated and love na ang ibig sabihin lamang doon ay may mga tao natutuwa at pinalulugan ako bilang sa inyo. Tama ka nga naman dyan, I think. On my part, It's normal that uh, I feel flattered whenever I receive words of affirmation. But uh, apart from that, is I always remind myself to keep grounded and to be humble. Because it depends on response natin sa mga uh, positive words that we receive. Natin. Kung pwede tayo mag-interpret o kaya naman ay masabihan ng negative thoughts from the people. That's why instead of uh, saying words that will give misinterpretation or will create misinterpretation, I always say that, glory to God. The best way to cap this first segment on the five love languages is through prayer of salvation and declaration. Teacher Sheila, please lead us the prayer of salvation. Sige po, tayo po yung po. Amang Diyos, ako po ngayon ay lumalapit at nagpapakumbaba sa inyong harapan. Patawarin po ninyo ako sa lahat ng aking mga nagawang kasalanan sa isip, sa salita at sa gawa. Sa oras kong ito, tinatanggap kita bilang aking Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas ng aking buhay. Puspusin mo po ako ng iyong santong espiritu at ng kabanalan. Simula sa oras na ito, kayo na nga po ang siyang panguna sa lahat ng aking gagawin at sa lahat ng aking mga plano. Isulat niyo po ang aking pangalan. Sabay-sabay po natin pagkitin ang ating mga pangalan. Sheila S. Marins, Aklat ng Buhay, in Jesus' name. Amen. To give us the chance to experience the power of declaration, is teach our character. With conviction, I declare by the power of the blood of Jesus, we are COVID-19 free. Coronavirus is our definite goal, and no weapon for against us shall prosper. And we would enjoy each day of our lives knowing that we lack nothing. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Friends, we are done with just the first, the first segment on the five love languages. Finish everything because I tell you, you would experience, you would definitely have a totally different love experience because of this five love languages. This is our, our five, five Life Sensible Commons. <laughs>